Hello, everybody. Finally, I'm back. Um, I've been working on my iPad. You talk about craziness. I had to delete YouTube. Then I had to bring YouTube back. I had to get the app back. When I did, I guess I did not sign in with Google Chrome. I signed in with something else. And my page was showing no comments. No, no. <laughs> okay. So for four hours, I have worked on this computer, this little iPad, and it is great now. I have about 20 gigs of extra space, and everything is good to go. So that was fun. No, it wasn't. I was sweating bullets. I was so scared I was going to ruin everything and delete all my YouTube videos from YouTube. It was craziness. Okay, we have costume galore. Some is vintage. Some is not. I'm eating Skittles, so I might get a little, little overacting, you know, kind of silly. But um, some is vintage. Some is um, costume. Some is, some have stones. I don't know. There might be some sterling. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. But I have rings, earrings, bracelets, necklaces. And, well, that's about all there is. Okay, so let's start. I have a huge pile over here. I'll show you the pile. So let's get started here. Okay. So the first piece I have... I just pull it off the top. That's how we're going to do it. Pull it off the top. It is... Wow. <laughs> this is wow. I love this. I love it. I don't even want to sell it. And it's pretty. This is like brass and wood here. These are interesting. I like that. Brass. These are bone. Elephants. This is wood. And those are little wood discs. It is. Oh, you see my Skittles. It is uh, about 32 inches. Let's get back Skittles. And um, it's just darling. I, I mean, I just love it. With a summer dress, it is just too cute. So, we're going to go ahead and put five on that. That's beautiful. Should do up close. I mean, it's in great shape. And I do believe it's older. We'll show you that. Okay? Okay, I'll be leaning over this way because I'm putting necklaces in one bag and other things in another one. Just so you know. Okay, here comes a tangle. When my mother would think I was not telling the truth, she would always say, oh, what a tangled web we weave. <laughs> That's what I feel like I've got over here, a tangled web of deceit, no, of jewelry, which is great. Okay, this is cute. This is kind of abstract. These are probably, I'm thinking these are shells. And the wood, I just thought it was retro and kind of cool. Kind of mixed metals. Now I'll put three on that. This is what I was trying to pull this one out. This is the RCB. There's a beautiful little button closure here. This is so pretty. This is so iridescent and shiny. I'm sorry. I'm eating this, these skills and oh, they're so good. About 16 inches. Just a little less than 16. This one is very, very pretty. Let's see the seed beads. And the connector. It's just beautiful. So we'll put, let's put four on that. It's in good shape. Sometimes these get chipped, but that looks really good. 
Okay, next. Oh, I'm going to have hematite. I think, is this magnetic? No. This is beautiful. Flip, dude, flip there. This has a little rhinestone. I've never seen one with a rhinestone in it. Isn't this beautiful? And then we have the cat's eye beads with the hematite. Little silver spacers in between. These are, you know, this really nice um, shaped. They feel good. They're cold. This is just really pretty. So we'll put four on that. It's very unusual. Okay, let's do a bracelet. Ooh, this is pretty. This says Spring Street. I know I've heard of this. This is Steinmark. This was $12.99. This is brand spanking new. Blue with white rhinestones here and the gold tone. And it is precious. It is so pretty. Look at that. So let's put four on this. That's a keeper. That's so pretty. Okay. Oh, we got some more animals. We got animals. Okay, we've got a, it's a leopard. Because he has spots. Then we have, what is that? A zebra. That is so cute. Then we have a giraffe. Rhino. Elephant. Um, with the tusk, and then the mommy elephant with her trunk up. I'll show them to you up close. This is beautiful. This, this is like African trade bead. This is beautiful. Okay. This is very well done. It's very interesting. It's kind of like the safari. We're going on the safari. These are cute. Look at the spot. And the giraffe, he's just hanging out. Look at him. He's just hanging out sideways, just looking. And this has no clasp on it, so it just goes over the head. It's pretty long. And like I said, it's beautiful. So this is about 26 inches, 27. And I'm going to put five on this just because it's just beautiful and vintage and cool. And I love it. I don't know why I like stuff like that. It's not like shiny, blingy, pretty, but it's just interesting, I think. You know, I don't really know what this is, but for a crafter, I don't know. This has got the little evil eye or all-knowing eye beads and a leather cord, and that's just a dollar. Okay, let's do a couple more bracelets here. Oh, these are pretty... Okay, there's two of these, and they're both kind of that eggplant purple with a little bit of very lemony lime color there. Can you tell I'm hungry? Then this is almost a gray purple. These are beautiful. These are Ann Taylor. Wow, I love her jewelry. I'll put them on real quick. Aren't they pretty? So this could go with cream, black, you know, other gold jewelry, um, um, blue jeans and a light color top. It's just very, very pretty. Very versatile the colors are. So we'll put six on these, two. Okay, we'll do a ring real quick. This is a Druzy. This is in great shape. Isn't that pretty? It is not sterling, but it is made so well. And this is a size. Now, these are costume pieces. These are not sterling. This is right at a ten and a half. Yes, this is a ten and a half. And I'll put that on my thumb there. And it is gorgeous. Look at that. You could poke somebody's eye out. 
Um, it's not sharp at all. It's just not that one, maybe that one little edge there. With the ju you see where the juicy comes up? But you know, we can file that down. That's an easy fix. Um, I think it's awfully pretty. There we go. Let's do this. Let's see, all these are soft. Where'd it go? Right there on that very edge. That's about all it took. There we go. It's good as new. That's all you have to do. Um, a metal one's better. Um, just lightly do it. So let's do, let's see, this is a 10 and a half. It's awfully pretty. Let's do 12 on this one. Just because it's unusual. Okay. Oh, I see a watch. Mm-hmm. This one's pretty. It's a gold tone Seiko. It is a Seiko Quartz. Japan Movement. Look at the back. Look how pretty that is. These are lovely. This one is right at seven and a half. Or so, yes, this is right at seven and a half. This would be nice for somebody. Um, I'll put a on the Seiko. It's very pretty. Stretchy. Skulls. You can put two dollars. Purple skulls, guys. Two dollars. I'm putting braces over there. Okay, let's do some earrings. These are cute. There we go. They're just little kind of gunmetal gold, gold tone. Front and back, in good condition. So we'll put two dollars on the little purple ones. Aren't those pretty? Okay, we'll lay these here. Okay, let's do another pair. Let me check these. These are cool. These are pierced, and I did not notice that till just now. Hmm. I'm looking for a maker on these. These are the white enamel. Yeah, there is a maker. They are Monet, and it's got a patent number, so these are older. Um, I'll show you. These are nice. I'll show you this. There's your piercing. And look how pretty those are. And there are two of them. And so for these Monets, I'm going to put four because they are gorgeous and beautiful. That's nice. I wish I knew those were pierced. I might have been wearing them. Okay, these. And my voice sounded funny just now, sorry. These almost look like 1928, but I'm not sure. I'll show you the back real quick. The reason why I'm saying that. And there's kind of a... A burn a, a bronzy gold back and they are little rhinestones and these are too cute so I'll put three on these because they're in just excellent shape aren't those pretty let's set this over here okay let's pull out another necklace how's that sound just one just one okay this is pretty does this have a tag? Yes, this has a tag, guys. This is Premier Design. I don't believe it. Wow. That is neat. Look at that. Mm. This is a an enhancer. It's called a pearl enhancer. But it can enhance anything. So I don't know if this is actually a Premier Design 
see because it doesn't say but I do know this is the piece here and it's a beautiful match color tone wise so we will say it's a premier design chain and a beautiful pendant pearl enhancer pendant checking this is a rollo very nice so let's put let's see let's put three on that one Okay, let's do another necklace. Oh, some of you might have seen this before. This is beautiful. This is almost like cloisonne. I'll show it to you up close. Let me see something here. I don't know what in the world. I don't know if I've ever even looked at this. Um, let me check the clasp here. Let me open it and make sure everything is working. Yeah, I think I've shown this before, honestly. If I remember right. Okay. Hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going to show it to you. And this will have to go to the jeweler. It is saying 14K. And you know, I had that, I think it was Onyx with 14K piece here, like this one. And an extender. I mean, <laughs> an extender, bleh, and a um, bunch of gold beads. No, I can't even get this back. Some gold beads. And they turned out to be 14K. And she gave me $168 for it. So, on this one here, and she does not take them apart. She doesn't throw them away. She actually um, resells them herself. So, this piece here, I think if this is 14K, then the beads very well could be. So, and these could be jade. So, let's do this. I will take it to the jeweler when I go. I'm going next week. And we will see what she says. And if it's nothing, then I'll bring it back and sell it. But isn't that pretty? But I'll show you this up close. Let's see if I can get it to where you can see. You can actually feel the ripples. So... It's, it's just hard to tell. I'll show you a cloisonne piece I have over here that I'll be selling here soon, but not yet. Look at this. See, you can actually feel the raised, and I think you can see kind of the raised um, areas on that. And this one has it too, but not to the extent. Isn't this a beautiful necklace? There's no um, clasp on this one. The back part of it just, I think the back part of it doesn't have the gold beads. But this thing is gorgeous. I thought there was a couple spots. No, this is just, this is just a big hunk of beautiful. Look at that. I saw that and I'm about to drop my tea. Yes, that's beautiful. Okay, so we'll put this aside. And you guys, all that does, if I turn in a piece like that and get some money for it, all I do is buy, <laughs> I get more jewelry. So it's a win-win for you guys and for me. So... It kind of helps make up for some of the duds that we get in this business from time to time. That's why I wish I had more sources, more people I know. That's why I've been um, purchasing a lot of things from people that I have met through my YouTube. Because they're in the same boat as me and we all want the same thing. And um, this, this is beautiful. 
it has all its stones. I'm just shocked. Isn't this pretty? Let me move it over a little bit. Okay, look how the chain up here is big. And then it's smaller down here. This is like Mardi Gras. Um, we're getting ready to go watch the um, horses race at Churchill Downs. It's, yeah, this is 15 inches with about an inch extender. Could be 16. But yes, this guy. This guy here is gorgeous. So let's put, hmm, it's really nice weight too. Let's put $8 on it because it's so pretty. Let me show you the back. Isn't that pretty? Excellent condition. Very well made. Okay. Let's see, let's do a clamper. Now that's in the clamper. This is just a, hmm. It's, it's, mm -mm. it's not sterling, but it's pretty. Look at the dragons. Are they upside down? Are they? Yeah. Look at the dragons. No, they're not upside down. And it's pretty, it's pretty large. It's pretty and pretty large. Yeah, it's almost three, and I think it moves. I'm gonna move it a little bit, yes. So that's good. But this I think would go better with someone with an arm that's probably about seven and a half to eight. And we'll just put $3 on this one. And it's thinner, but it's not rough. It's not, you know, it's not rough. So we'll put three on that one. That's cute. Oops, I keep forgetting I'm putting stuff over there. Okay, let's do, I do have a couple more really pretty bangles. There's a blue one. I thought there was two blue ones, maybe not. I could have sworn there was in this pile. Well, this is pretty. These look like the same maker. Let me look here. I don't think so. This one is actually silver tone. These are gold tone, but they still could go together. They're really the same thickness. And I'll show you here in a second what I mean. These don't have names on them. These are pretty. Okay. This one is just a bit thicker. I don't think it's any bigger on the inside. That lime green is a beautiful summer color. But look how neat that is. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's put that on. Yeah, they're about the same size. Now that is pretty. These are gold tone. That's got silver in it. But like I said, it sits up a little bit because it's thicker. Oh, that's cool. Okay, these are like pristine. Two. Just give you a measurement on these real quick. This one is one in. What's that one in? <laughs> I need to go back to snow. One and three fourths, so almost one and three fourths. I mean two and three fourths. I'm sorry, you guys. This is two and a half. This one is two and a half. Let's see if this one's almost two. This is just a little bit bigger. It's about an eighth of an inch bigger on the inside. But these are gorgeous. So I'm just going to put five on these. Three. Beautiful. I think they'll go good together. Okay. Hello to you. Okay, this is just unusual. I don't know if that's a coin bead. A coin bead. A coin pearl, but I think it is. Let me scratch these together real quick. There's earrings that match. Let's see what happens. I don't know how to... I, I don't know. 
I think these little ones are definitely pearls, little Baroque pearls. These, I don't think so. But this is a cute set. It's got some nice uh, lever backs. It's got an extender. It's a pretty color. This is right at 16 with an extender. You've got kind of the greenish blue. And I'm going to put... You've got some AB bicones here. This would be cute with just some blue jeans and a, sh and a shirt. A blue jean shorts and a white top. Yeah, that would be pretty. So let's put... Let's do four dollars on that. Put the earrings. Now let's put them all together. You know I'm losing. I have done that before and been so upset. Lose one earring of a set of like three or four, like a pendant and necklace earrings. Oh, terrible. Okay, this is really pretty. What is this? This says. What does this say? This says E. I don't know. Let's look. I have not seen that maker mark before. Looks like an E and a C. But this thing is so cool. I'm telling you. This thing is just cute as a button. Wipe that off. Um, Where my wiper go? Have it. I just had it. Okay. I got too much stuff. I got stuff all over. But that is the name of the game, guys. I am not complaining at all. Okay. So this one has light blue. This one has kind of an aluminum look to it. Um <laughs> I just think it's cool. This blue is very unusual. It's like a titanium blue. Very unusual. I'm just kind of awestruck by it. Let's see, does that go? Yeah, that goes on the inside. There we go. You guys know when you get a, a necklace twisted like this or even a bracelet, you just straighten it out and sometimes you have to flip it around or flip one inside the other. And it'll lay better. But this thing is so cute. As you can see, you have that iridescent, light, light, titanium-colored blue, if you get my drift. Um, these are plastic, kind of faceted. These are all plastic, but they're kind of a yellow. It, they're just neat. And these are plastic but they're a very pretty colored blue. I'll bring it down here for you guys to see. It is super long. It's probably 48 inches, and it can be shortened or lengthened because of the chain. Okay, so let's put five on this one. I think it's very cute, very interesting. It sounds good, too. It's got a nice sound to it. Okay, what's on top here? If I can kind of do what's on top, I have a tendency not to. This, I think, is... This is going to go for not too much. This is pretty. But I think it's not Brighton or anything. I think it's copycatting. The silver tone on this is really nice. The price they have on it is $24. I think this probably came from a little souvenir shop or something. It is real pretty. It's got a triple chain down here. And it is 24 inches at the shortest. So, with the earrings and the nice chain and all, we'll put four on that. Okay. 
Let's do a couple bracelets and some earrings real quick. This is a clamper. This thing is a big mama. Big mama jamma. But I thought it was cool. Look at the crystals. So when you put it on, it's a little big for me, but look. So this would be great for someone that had a little bit bigger wrist than me. Probably maybe a seven and a half to an eight. This would fall perfect. And it's strong enough to where it's not going to fall off because of the weight. I will give you a measurement of a cross here. We have eh, almost one, at, almost two and a half. So it's in good shape. It's really pretty. There is no maker mark. I was hoping there was, but there isn't. So we'll just put, let's see, let's put three on that. How does that sound? Three dollars on that one. And it's kind of heavy. It's not too heavy, but it is, it's substantial. I'll put my little cleaning towel there. I've had a couple of these. Isn't that funny? But they're cute. And this one's in good shape. It is a nice little clamper. It's a little bit smaller and probably fit me perfect. Yes. Now that's pretty. You guys, that's pretty. So this would fit probably up to about a seven and a half. See, when I push down, there is some room through here. But yeah, I like that. So let's put three on that one. That's really pretty. Okay, let me, well, it's a, I think I'll save this for my watches. It's a bracelet, but it's really a watch. Because I already offered you guys that Seiko. Um, this one, this one's pretty. Um, this watch is gold and silver tone. Water resistance water resistant quartz it does not have a name but it's a very nice watch I don't see a name see that one and you've even got the date on this like I said there's no name this has no wear this is a big size um this would be a nice starter watch for somebody to just, you know, wear around when they don't have their phone out. You don't always know what time it is without the phone. Okay, so this one, you can kind of, let's see. This one, since I can't really open it, let's do it like this. This one is... Close to eight inches with it open like this, but of course, this can be tightened up. And I'm gonna offer this pretty little thing for four dollars. I think it's really nice, and it's gold and silver tone, so you know that this is gonna go with everything. And that's the date dial there. Okay. So we'll put that over here with the Seiko. I forgot those were in there. Um, this is pretty. I'll save that for the watches. Oh, here's something pretty. Yeah, I've got a watch lot. And I'm going to try to sell them at a fabulous price. This is gorgeous. This is that metal that's like, you know, the Monet metal that just never ceases to amaze. Um, look at the back. Look at that. It's like a little snake. It is so gold and beautiful. It still has its, its uh, safety clasp. I looked all over this baby. This is that satin finish. And then you've got that electric cut here. That looks like a almost like a fern or I don't know what that is. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. There's the... Yeah. This thing is spectacular. 
if you want to put a little gold in your life, um, maybe you have a gold ring or two you'd like to wear. <clears throat> this one would be perfect. This is right at eight inches. Like I said, you're not going to lose it because you've got that piece on there. And it just hooks right here. And you put it on, you hook it, and then you hook this. So you are good to go. So I'm going to put 10 on this one. It is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Put that there. Let's see what's over here. Ah, that's an M. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's do a couple pair of earrings real quick. These are clips. Show you that one. Then I'll show you this one. That's pretty. I'll show you the back. Looks very nice. These are not named, but they are very nice. So we'll put three on these clips with all the little rhinestones, and they're all there. So we'll put three on those, and they would set just like that. Set just like that. Very nice. Okay, we'll do three on those. Let's do another earring. I keep thinking I got stuff stuck to my elbows. Okay, these are, what were those? Those were gold. Let's do these. These are pretty. These are kind of articulated. These are purple stone, probably, gla I mean, purple glass. I think they're glass. They're either glass or a really nice plastic. Very faceted, very light purple, very pretty. Um, this has like foam marcasites, I think. There's three and three. And we'll look at those and then we'll look at the back. Very nicely made, very nicely made. I do not see a maker, but we can do four on these. Those are pretty. Very nice. And those are probably two inches exactly. Yep. Just under two. Very good. Okay, let's do these. I like these. These are marked. Here it is. These are napier and they're pierced. And they're darling. Look at that. Yeah, these are beautiful. I'll show you the back. That's the napier right there in that corner. It's hard to see, I'm sorry. Let's see if I can get you to see it over here. It's right there. And these are very pretty. These are like substantial enough, but they're light enough to wear. I think these would be very comfortable. So, the Napier little triangle, we'll put, um, with the little balls, we'll put four on these. These are pretty. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. Let's do this bracelet real quick. This is pretty. This is just a, you know, everyday occasion chain uh, bracelet for, you know, just... Any, anything. This will go with fancy or, ooh, excuse me, not fancy. So this one is a good size. It is right at eight inches. This is nice. And I'll wrap it around here so you can see how pretty it is. Not nice. So it's kind of like a flat Rolo. I don't know. It's kind of almost like, look, if you look at it, it kind of has a curve, like a, almost an S, or a, an S that comes in be yeah, like a circle S, like that. And then there's the back. Very, very clean and nice. Um, no markings. So let's do four on this one. It's pretty. Um, Oh, this is so precious. 
You know, I'm a sucker for sand dollars. I just, I love the ocean and the beach. Um, this is so sweet. This has that, like, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's not edged, but it is. Um, this is seven and a half. This is the cutest little thing. It has like the etched um, pieces and it makes it look like they're sparkling. Yeah, you can see that. This is very pretty. There is no maker on this that I could find. Let me look. The back is so neat. May, what? I thought I found a maker mark. It says, made in USA. Does that count? Does that count for anything? Yes, I don't see a maker mark. That is so weird. Nothing. But even the back is pretty. Made in the USA. Isn't that neat? And that is the back. So we'll put five on this. I think it's just gorgeous. And that was seven and a half, I, I do believe, yes. Yeah, those are pretty. Okay, let's do another necklace. I see the sea. All this stuff is reminding me of the ocean. Okay, you have blue, turquoise, blue sea beads. You have this pretty medallion on it, pendant medallion. It has beautiful greens. These are pretty. These are like those little confetti beads. They've got like little sparkles in there. This is cute. I like that. It's almost like a sea foam <clears throat> green. So let's, yep, it's about 16 inches. It's a really nice size. So let's put four on this one. It's a good price. Okay, let's do another necklace. I'm just pulling them from the side here. Oh, this is pretty. Let's see here. What is going on here? Oh, we don't have a clasp. What happened? You know, that'll take me two seconds. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, another clasp here. Woohoo! I've got another magnet clasp. This is lightweight. So, this clasp here will not, won't have a problem holding it. Um, so, what we do is, since we have this, that's all we've got. Got a ring here, which is how you make the necklace anyway, with the ring. You put the pieces on the end. So we have fixed this that simply. Okay? And it's not heavy enough to pull that magnet apart. So this is pretty and this will stay on it. Um if anybody's interested in it, let me know. This is beautiful. Look at that. Those beads are cool. They're kind of a I don't know what they are. They're like a really hard acrylic. I don't think they're plastic. Isn't that neat? And it is long. I just think it's really pretty. It looks like really thin seashells. I got the ocean on my mind, guys. Isn't that awful? So that's about four, 28 inches. And like I said, this will stay on it. And we'll put, let's put six on this one. I like it. That's cute. Let me put that in there. Okay. Let's get these out of the way. Um, let's do another necklace. Come on out of there. Because like I'm trying to do them off the top so I don't mess them up. This is pretty. Yeah, this is real pretty. These are just really pretty beads, kind of a grayish blue. 
cobalt. No, cobalt blue is very bright blue. This is like a grayish blue, a very nice kind of muted yellow, a really pretty um, pale pink with the gold tone accents. It's long for the summer. These long necklaces for the summer keep you cool. Um, they enhance whatever color you're wearing. Go along with or enhance. Because you could have something with a little bit of a pattern with this one and still be able to wear it. Even though you've got like a pattern of flowers or something like that. Now this is right at 20 Let's see, 20 inches at the shortest, from what I can tell. So we're going probably 20, 22, and 24. I'll show it to you up close. Very pretty. So we'll put four on that. I like that. Very nice summer, summertime necklace. Let's do a couple more earrings. These are cute. These are little posts. And they are red. Aren't those cute? So when you put the post on the back, it sits on your ear just like that. Just darling, and that's the back. These are in great shape. There are no names on these. These are two. Two whole dollars, guys. Those are pretty. These are also have more of a reddish purple. Kind of a red and a purple. And these are pierced. These are nice. These are not marked either, so we'll do two on these. Wow, how cool. Okay, we have these. I'm going to put a couple pieces together here that are kind of light. We have some little leaves. Those are sweet. We have these little rhinestones. I'll show you the rhinestones up close, too. Maybe. We have the rhinestone. Ah, that was up close. Probably in your eye. Those are cute. Okay, and then these. These are cute too. Here's the um, right there. And here's the leaf. Very sweet. Very shiny. And then we'll put. Look at these butterflies. These are cute. These almost look sterling, but they're not. One of them stuck to my iPad, so I knew they were sterling. I couldn't find it, and I was looking all. It was on the back of my iPad, too, stuck to the magnet of the case. So those are sweet. So these four right here, we will do $5. Okay. I'll put these over here in a group. Those are cute. Okay, let's do, let's see, I've got a couple of these. Got that one. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, I thought I had another tennis bracelet. Let me look here. Oh my. Yes, I do. There's that one. I've got some beautiful bracelets, guys. I'm so glad to be able to share them with you. Okay. There's that. There's that. These are all gold. So I think what I'll do, I'll interject this one in there. This one's. Is this one broken? No. This is weird. I don't know what this is. Okay, guys. This is cute, but it's weird. It's got all these lobsters. There's a lobster there. There's a lobster there. It's got some cute charm. And then there's two lobsters there. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to save them. I'm going to save the lobsters because I always need some. And I have to buy them if I don't have any. Oh, these are pretty. Wait a minute. Let me show you these, guys. These are gorgeous. See, we've got about another 10 minutes. These are absolutely gorgeous. These are not stones. I'll show you the back. These are not stones that I can tell. 
They are not cold, but they are faceted. And they are like hammered. They look like sterling, but they're not. They're lighter. And I'm going to put four on these because they are gorgeous. Look at those with the little hooks. Yeah, these are really, really pretty. They look good on. Get that light shining on them. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we'll do those over here. Very pretty. Okay, so what we have here are two tennis bracelets. This one has crosses and rhinestones. It's very pretty. I will open it up. I think I've actually showed these before. I remember them. It's been a while. It might have been in February or March. Or maybe even before that. So I will put these out. These do have stones in them. And this one is very pretty also. You have an ex you have a safety clasp here. This opens. It's very pretty. Look at that. You guys, you can hardly tell that that's not real. That is beautiful. Okay, I'll show you the crosses up close. I will give you a measurement on this. Aren't those pretty? Man. These are beautiful. And that's the back part. I do not see a maker on these. Uh, I lied. Hold on. <laughs> that's so funny. This is an Avon piece, which is great. I love Avon. Okay, that one's Avon. Let me check and see if this one might be too. I don't, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it might be. It's got that rounded back. Let's see. Uh -uh. It definitely be marked, and I don't see any marks. Oh, I see something on the side. That's Avon, isn't it? P A J. P A J. I bet you this one's Avon too. Let me show it to you. Yeah, it's got a really nice closure. It's just beautiful. The back is that rounded. That's why I said I think these are Avon. PAJ, I bet you it is. Okay, these are, this actually has an extender, which is fabulous. I'll measure it with and without. And it's so lucky that extender is still on there. I'm going to look this up. I have a bunch of um, gigs now, so I'm not worried. I can go up to an hour without having to be flipping out, thinking it's going to cut off. I see P A J jewelry. Um, prime art and jewel. Hmm. It delivers on blah, 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 blah. Um, prime art and jewel. I think I've actually looked this up before. Um, it says, he said they always do their best to make everything perfect. They're in Dallas, Texas since 1978. PAJ is a family owned company, has grown and developed into an unparalleled source of expertise at every point of fine jewelry. Supply chain, including design, development, marketing, and global trade. So, hmm. Isn't that nice? Okay, they're in, they're all over. They're in China, they're in New York, they're in Canada. Yeah, so this is a huge conglomerate, but it is beautiful. And let's measure, measure, measure. This one is right at seven inches. Very nice. This one is, OK, 
Okay. Get that down. This one is eight and a half with the extender, and without the extender, it is right at seven and a quarter, or almost seven and a half. So that's beautiful. That's perfect. Okay, so these are going to be let's see. $10 piece, maybe? Yeah, we'll just put 10 on both of them. I think they're well worth it. I do believe, I hope. Um, Let's see. Let's do necklaces again. Oh, I like this one. This one does not have a maker's mark, but it is very, very pretty. Those look like Sororskis, but they're not. They're very pretty. This reminds me of like an Anne Klein or something. Isn't that pretty? Very, very nice. Very well made. Just, you know, just a straight up beautiful necklace. I'm trying to see if some of these are grayer and some are gold. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Let me just pick it up for you. Yeah, I don't know. But they sure are pretty. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So let's get a measurement real quick here. I'm kind of shutting down here. Um, we're getting there, guys. It's almost an hour. So this is 16, almost 17 inches. This is beautiful. So you can see the front and the back. So let's do $4 on that one. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's do one more necklace and then we'll stop for this video and let's see let's do something this is super long it is lightweight they are plastic beads very very nice it's probably close to 50 inches i'm sorry that had a hair on it and it was not mine hold on not nice, not nice. Get off of there. Okay. So this is lightweight and beautiful. It has really cute plastic beads. Like I said, it's close to 50 inches. It could be doubled or tripled. Yeah, this thing is super long. Okay, this is doubled. Okay. And it could be tripled. <laughs> and that is tripled. So we'll put $3 on that. I think it's cute. Very nice. Our pile's going down, guys. Yes, we are really getting in there. Okay. This will be the last for the night for this video. I think I'll do one more before I go to bed. Um, This is so cute. I don't know where it came from. I don't know the maker. It is vintage. When I first looked at it, I thought it could be Lee Sands, but it's not. There's, you know, his usually have um, something. You know, it's 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 a an object, which would be like a shell or something like that. Um, what I have, I have a little fairy that holds a heart, and then I have my tiger. Um, I'd like to get some more pieces, and I'm sure I will someday. Okay, this is red, yellow, and black, and I think it's cute. I think it is very, very cute. It's vintage. This is the back. <laughs> kind of cool, too. And we will put $4 on this one. And I think it is just sweet. Very kind of artsy-fartsy, but cute. Okay, this is a good size, too. This is 20, almost 21 inches. So we are at one hour. We're going to stop here. We still have some more to go and many more things coming in the next few weeks. Um, I'm real excited to show you my stones, my semi-precious stones. I have so many, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll probably go through and get the best pieces out. Not the best, but I mean the biggest. It would go from big to small or something like that. And i let you see some of the things that I have and then we'll go from there. Um, the 
best pieces are the ones that are yet to come. All right. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, for subscribing. We're at 360 right now. We're, we're getting there. So we'll talk to you very, very soon.